Poulin here today, um, who's going to talk to us and tell us a little bit about the history of the well. And uh, we're doing this especially to celebrate Kilkenny Day, which is Sunday, the 11th of October, encouraging everybody to get out and about, wear your colours with pride and enjoy the county and city. So, John, a little bit about where we are today. Absolutely, absolutely. This is a beautiful area called Kenny's Well. Uh, of course, St. Canis uh, goes back to the, the early 6th century, actually. But the first historical notes that we have in Kenny of this area here would be the 13th century, when we had a bishop, the Bishop of Ottawa, I think, Geoffrey just the turtle. Uh, he uh, gave us the license, as it were at the time, I suppose, you could say, to the Dominicans down to the Black Abbey to take water from this well for the needs of their house down there in, in Abbey Street. But in, in those days, I mean, this is a very historic site, and uh, this Kenny's well here is a walled site. Uh, of course, as you can see, a walled site, and a well here, uh, just down here at the bottom of what they call Croker's Hill. And Kenny's well gave the name actually to this whole area that goes from Black Mill Street down to my left, right out to Hilcreen, out to the borough boundary. So this is called the Kenny's well area. And uh, from the 13th century on, in actual fact, uh, uh, St. Thomas' Day was uh, a holy day of obligation uh, in this city and uh, was, was served as such for many, many years. Uh, over the years, I suppose we have so many significant and historic sites and uh, buildings in this city. And um, I, I genuinely believe that this one hasn't probably got the notoriety that it, was, uh, that it actually deserves. When you think of going back to the 6th century, and being in our archives and our history from the 14th century, genuinely, this is the original site, this is the original wall. And from that date, that very early state, we have here uh, the building itself, the well here, with a special, uh, uh, I, I suppose, well building, limestone, whitewashed well building, in which and from which the spring flows uh, copiously for all those centuries to this very day, and has never failed to flow straight into the nearby, at the rear of this building, down to the uh, Brago River, which is adjacent. Uh, in recent years, unfortunately, the wall, as the site, as you can see, is surrounded by limestone, beautiful limestone wall. But unfortunately, the wall just adjacent at the bank of the Brago River, because of erosion, has fallen in to the Brago River. And I know this site for many, many years. I had an aunt who lived in Emma Street, and I remember coming down to the local small shop for my sweets, coming up with some of my friends, having uh, eating the sweets and being brought down by the adults here to say a prayer at the well. Well, in recent years, because of the flooding that we had in the city in the earlier years and the erosion of the bank of that river Brega, the wall, unfortunately, down at the river bank has fallen into the river. Uh, since I became mayor, I was interested in this visit of the site and saw that the wall had fallen into the river. And I met a neighbour here just to my left hand, John uh, uh, Hackett. The Hackett family has served this area very well. And in actual fact, he put a floodlight on the gable of his house to ensure that this uh, precious site and this precious well uh, is, is, is kept safe by day and by night, which it is supported, should I say, by the local county council and, and he, he observed that. Uh, in actual fact, in the 1980s, they formed a committee, the Kenny's Well Committee, to look after this precious site and this precious well. And on an annual basis, they hold their mass here and other celebrations as well. But of course, because of recent times of the COVID pandemic, they couldn't hold uh, the mass this year. But I met John in recent times, and he was delighted when I told him that in recent times that I put down a notice of motion to ensure that the restoration of the full site uh, and namely the wall just here at the River Brega uh, would be rebuilt and restored because some of the stones in the wall have been, I suppose, uh, seen to and uh, some uh, activity has taken place down there and research has found that some of the stones in that wall have fallen into the uh, river are of medieval origin. So it's a very important site for many, many reasons and a most historic site. And if you have a site here and a well uh, and I suppose the other thing too, of course, St. Canis, Quinny. That's where the Kenny derives its name. So I don't think it can be more historic, more real, or more authentic, and very unique. So I say, for this time of having our smashing Kilkenny Day for city and county, uh, I, I suppose we'd be to be remiss of me as mayor of Kilkenny City and being proud of Kilkenny City, of course, but being particularly proud of Kenny's Well, uh, who, who I'm, uh, a place that I'm familiar with for many, many years. I urge as many people as possible. And a lot of people are not, I suppose, uh, don't even realise that St. Canis. Uh, I suppose, 
the founder name, I suppose, the good man of Kilkenny City and County. He's well is right here from all down to all those centuries. The water, like I said, flows perfectly still there. And I suppose it would be a nice message to send forward to the people of Kilkenny, the city and the environment, and the other well to visit, to have a look at this very precious site for that smashing day, which is Kilkenny Day, very, a very special day on Sunday the 10th of October. Sunday the 11th, oh, and Sundays, very fitting, very fitting that it's actually the feast of St. Canis on that day, and I think it was part of the reason why Kilkenny County Council selected the date. So I suppose you're encouraging everybody, John, to enjoy the city, enjoy the county, take a look at what activities there are happening around the city and county, and you know, don the, uh, the black and amber as you have done today, and be very proud and embrace this wonderful place.